But first, your local election headquarters with an update on a debate over debates. Tonight, we're hearing for the first time from Republican gubernatorial candidate Alan Fung about why he won't participate in a televised debate against his primary opponent. Fung's comments coming just hours after his GOP rival Patricia Morgan blasted him for what she says is an ongoing lack of transparency. Eyewitness News reporter Sheena Loshuto spoke with Fung tonight. She joins us now with the story. Sheena? Well, we've been trying to reach Mayor Fung since yesterday. Over and over again, we were told by his team that he was too busy to comment. Well, we finally spoke with him tonight in Cranston. House Minority Leader Patricia Morgan has a message for her Republican opponent for governor, Cranston Mayor Alan Fung. He's afraid that they will see that he is woefully unprepared to be governor. At a press conference Wednesday, Morgan attacked Fung for not yet agreeing to any TV debates before the uh, September 12th primary. Voters have a fundamental right to know and understand what a candidate believes. Back in April, Mayor Fung agreed to do a debate on WPRI before the primary. Will you debate your Republican primary opponents on WPRI? Sure. But now Fung is declining to schedule any debates on local TV stations. On Wednesday, Fung said he would do one pre-primary debate on Woonsocket radio station WNRI. When asked if we would see him do any TV debates in the next month, he answered this. Uh, all I can tell you is I've agreed to the debate that I've agreed to. I'm going to continue to uh, be out in the neighborhoods talking to people. Morgan says she's happy to go on the radio, but it's not enough. And don't the voters deserve to know where you stand before the primaries? I, I'm right here answering your questions, answering their questions, making sure I continue to do my job. In the Democratic primary, Governor Gina Raimondo has not yet committed to a debate either. You can talk to the campaign. I think they're working through it. I'm not sure if they have a plan at the moment. Her opponent, Matt Brown, wants eight. Debates are an essential part of democracy. The voters deserve to hear our two visions for the state, which are very different visions. And no date has been set for that Republican radio debate. There are two other candidates in the race, Republican Giovanni Ferrosi and Democrat Spencer Dickinson. Reporting live in Providence tonight, I'm Sheena Lushudo, Eyewitness News.